Hello everyone, it's Chris here and in this video I'm going to address a common beginner question that I receive and that is the student opens up their project expecting to see uh, user interface elements on their storyboard but they don't see anything, it's all empty and it's all blank. Now if you're starting the project for the very first time then it's going to be blank because we haven't done anything to it yet but if you worked on this project previously and you added elements to the storyboard, you would expect to see something there the next time you open up the project. So let's take a look at the document outline where it lists all the elements on your storyboard or on your view and see if they're there. So if you don't see this uh, sidebar that's going to be right here with the listing of all your elements, click this tiny icon on the lower left corner, show document outline, right? And then instantly, you'll see this sidebar here. So expand this, go to the view, and you can see that we actually do have a bunch of user interface elements here, but they're all grayed out. Background, scroll view, this label with the 20 on it. And furthermore, we have constraints and they're all grayed out too. If you don't know what constraints are, I suggest that you go through the uh, beginner lessons where you'll get a chance to use them and learn about them. Okay, so now let's address why we can't see any of these elements. There's this button down here, and this button is to set the size class that you're working in. So sometimes when you open up the project, it goes back to any width and any height. And whereas previously, maybe you were working with you know, a very specific size class. Uh, in this project, I know it's a landscape project, and when we built it, we were working in the any width and compact height size class. So I'm just going to select that. And when I select that size class, you'll see that change to any width and compact height. And now all of my elements are not grayed out and I can see them. So what are size classes? Just a quick note on them. Um, it's something that allows you to add constraints and elements to a specific orientation or a specific class of screen sizes, which is why they're called uh, size class. When it goes to the any width and any height, you know, if you're adding elements into here, into this size class, that means that no matter what screen size the user is viewing your app on, uh, these elements will be shown. In our case, we were working with this any width and compact height you can see uh, there's some text below the base values label. It says for all compact height layouts, iPhones and landscape. So because I intended this one to be a landscape iPhone app, uh, only displayable in this um, orientation, then we were specifically working in this size class. But sometimes when you open up the project again, it, you know, it jumps back to the any with any height size class which explains why all of this stuff is grayed out here. So just make a note of that. And if you open up your project again and you don't see any of your elements, uh, open up your document outline, check that there are grayed out elements, and then go back and see what size class you were using before. Uh, and then just change the size class back to that and you should get all your elements back. Um, and just a quick note while we are here, if you say you added an element to this specific size class, but now you want to include it in a different size class, you can select your element, like I have here selected the background, and then if you go over to this inspector pane on the right here, if you don't have this, click this icon. This icon will reveal this. Go into the, it's one of these tabs, this one right here, uh, and down here, you'll see that this background element is installed for the any width and compact height. You can see there's a check mark under installed. And if you want to install it into a different one, you can click the plus. You know, you can select a different, different one. Let's say any width regular height. And you can check that off and this background now will be installed for the any width regular height so if you check let's change the size class for that any width regular height that's this one right here and you can see our background shows up 
because here we specify that it's installed for that. And likewise, you can click this X to exclude it from that size class. So size classes are some powerful stuff that warrants further videos and how to utilize them. But in this video, I just wanted to show you guys what to do if you're expecting to see elements in your storyboard and you don't. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.